Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm going to do another opening analysis video. I just recorded the first one and I thought it might be fun to try a second one just to see the variety we get. So Shadow will allocate one eye. I'm going to do one eye allocated at least for a while, but uh, if you leave in the comments that you often allocate zero eyes turn one, I can do some of those as well. So let's see what happens on this one. All right, a much more normal roll for free people and a very nice roll for Shadow. So these are good rolls, I'd say, for both of them. And let's see what cards free people drew. So Guards of the Citadel and Elven Rope, both of these are perfectly playable. And we don't yet know what Shadow is going to roll. I guess I'm thinking as free people, I'm most likely I'm going to move twice for sure with these character dice. And with the musters, I don't really know. If I had a Palantir, I would be inclined to play Guards of the Citadel or potentially Elven Rope, but I probably would play Guards of the Citadel. Given that I don't have a Palantir, I don't know exactly what I'm doing with these musters and army musters. It could be that I muster once maybe the elves or potentially Gondor, but muster somebody and then with this army movement go uh, into Edoras into Westmnet and Carrick into Old Forest Road. Another option is move a third time spending a ring with this muster because I don't really have anything I'm particularly excited to do. Um, or if on my first two moves I get hit th and, and I need to hide, then I could, I could potentially hide with the muster. So I think probably what I would do is start by moving twice and see, see what happens. Well, I'd pass twice, then I would move twice and then I would see what happens. All right, let's see what cards shadow draws. Flocks of Corbane, I'm not a huge fan of. Shadow is moving is perfectly nice. It's a army card, so I can use it in case new power, uh, power to great shows up. And also Swarm of Bats is useful for canceling those pesky scouts in Old Forest Road. So, um, you know, as Shadow seeing that I have Shadow is moving in Flocks of Corbane, those are cards that I'm not going to be playing right away. So if free people passes to me, I think I would start by just drawing a card. I mean, I'm almost certainly, I'm going to muster Isengard to war and then get um, Saruman almost certainly, but I think I'd just start by drawing a card so I could start thinking about that. And I would draw a strategy card. I don't know. Maybe the right thing to do. Maybe what's better is in case they get revealed um, on their first hit, maybe I'm going to want to draw character cards. Would I want to draw character cards in that situation? Um, I might. So I know for sure I want to muster Isengard. So I'll just do that. And then they pass. And the thing is, if I get Saruman right now, it's theoretically possible they could get Gandalf turn one by moving, getting hit, having um, Mirror of Galadriel, and then turning this character die into a Will of the West. Um, you know, what are the odds of that? One out, of, one out of six to hit them, and then one out of 24. So, you know, we're talking very low odds, but uh, I don't know. Do I really care about revealing that I'm going to get Saruman, I think, I think I'm just going to draw my strategy card now. I don't really want to draw character cards. I'm going to draw a strategy card. All right, shadows gather. I don't know that that's particularly playable right now, but it's something. It's something to consider. Um, okay, and now free people moves. No, no real question there. So they move. I try and hit them, and I miss. And then back to Shadow. What's Shadow going to do? All right. The thing about Shadow's Gather, moving three, I think I probably want to save it for reinforcements. Um, but it is possible to do like a Moranon to South Rune and then get these guys moving up to Erebor really early. Um, it's not really that amazing, but it is something to consider. Um I think I would I 
I think what I would do probably is just draw cards again because I don't really know what I'm going to get. So I'd rather see what it is and draw. So I draw one and I get half orcs and goblin men. Very useful card. Turns on a lot of combat effects. Gives me good reinforcement options. So that's good. All right. Um, free people move again. And this time they get hit. Let's see what we get. A one. Very interesting. Do you lose Gandalf to this? Um, you don't have to. Um, but we anticipate that, um, I mean, Saruman's coming. So if I roll Will of the West next turn, then... I could get I could get Gandalf. What am I gonna do? All right, so now I'm I'm free people. What am I gonna do with these last two dice? Am I gonna play guards of the Citadel or am I gonna use a ring to move again? How hard do we want to push the fellowship and how how much do we want to give rings to Shadow early on? Um and do we just if we lose Gandalf here, maybe we just slow down a little and um then use these musters and save our rings. I don't really know. This is interesting. What would you do here? Would you lose Gandalf? And if you do lose Gandalf, would you then slow down and not give a ring? Or do you lose Gandalf and still use a ring? I feel like maybe I would be tempted if I'm using a ring, I'm more tempted to take the one corruption and, um, Another crazy idea is take a random companion, maybe get a hobbit, but I don't I don't want to do that. I wouldn't take a random companion given that I'm not revealed, so I don't really need it. um Strider's guide ability. So um yeah, I don't know. This is this is an interesting choice. For this game, for me, what would I actually decide? I think I would decide. To lose Gandalf. I'm going to hang on to my rings. My thinking is I'm going to lose Gandalf. I'm going to hang on to my elven rings and I'm just going to I'm just going to muster up and defend a bit. So Gandalf goes bye-bye. And then Shadow, I think uh will now get Saruman. Clearly they want Saruman. And then with these now it goes back to free people. I think free people are going to, I don't know what. Seems like it could work to just muster elves twice. I think I'm going to try mustering elves twice. And now as shadow what do you do um i feel like i want to get to the elves pretty fast but yeah i think maybe what i would do is I'd do bear dirt to gore growth and then Do I bring in this regular unit right there? That seems fair. And then as free people, I think I muster elves again to get in, in advance of these armies. And now as Shadow, with this army muster, do you muster Sauron to war to make sure you get um, the Witch King next round if they get the elves to war and you only get one muster? Or do you want to get your armies moving more? I don't really know. I feel somewhat tempted to get Sauron to war just in case I only roll one muster because I think that's a real possibility. And then at least that's a deterrent for the elves getting to war and gives me options to sort of change direction if I want. So I think that's how 
I would play that round. You know, clearly there were a lot of choices along the way. Um, and we're just on round one. So I would love to hear your comments. What would you do differently? Would you have used a ring? Would you have lost Gandalf? Curious to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much. Have a good rest of the day.